Hi, I'm Robert Joseph, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the elastic stitch, which is also referred to as a three-step zigzag stitch. Now, uh, one thing that you need to know about this stitch is that you cannot change the width or the length of the stitch. So you will only be able to go as small as a 3 8 inch wide elastic, and that's what I use in this video. You could probably get away with using one quarter inch wide, although um, the stitches will end up being uh, going on the outside of that elastic. So just be aware of that. Now in this video, I first show you use applying the elastic with the stitch to a just a regular straight piece of fabric. Um, and then after that, I actually sew a cylinder um, piece of fabric meant to look like a sleeve cuff. And I show you how to apply the elastic as if it were a sleeve detail. All right. So that's what you'll be seeing in this video. Uh, Okay, so we are going to um, apply elastic. We're gonna stitch this on using stitch number 13. And if I can stop from hitting the camera, that would be good. Okay, so I have my elastic here just kind of pinned. So we're not gonna pin the elastic um, in this case. So here I have, I have just a regular flat piece of fabric. And this is just to show you um, the stitch um, in the flat. Um, so we get the idea of what's going on and I'm going to align my fabric up here. Whoops. I don't know what happened to the camera. It just fell. Huh? I've pulled back on the camera. Um, so you could have, we have a, um, there's more room here now. And what I'm going to do with this piece of fabric, so I'm going to line it up to the last line here. I'm going to put that foot down just to hold on to that. So I have my piece of elastic and one thing about this stitch, and I'm going to pull back here just for a second, cause I'm going to show you where I have it set up. It's set up for the 13. Um, there's the notch and it's a 13, the three step a zigzag. Uh, okay. So let's kind of get this set up again here. Okay. So uh, this zigzag, you cannot change the width of it. So, and I think the width is about the smallest you're gonna be able to, you might be able to use a quarter inch, but this is three eighths of an inch wide. Um, and I think it's gonna come pretty close to each of the edges. So you'll just have to keep an eye on that. So now just for this exercise, for this basic flat sample, um, there's no markings or anything. Um, I'm going to do an example as if we were putting it on like a shirt sleeve um, for a shirt cuff, which would elasticize the end and make a pretty a kind of a ruffle um, shirt cuff. But we're just going to see how this works. Now, the thing with elastic is that while you're sewing, I'm going to hold this down, you're going to have to take this and you're going to have to stretch it. Okay, and in your patterns, they should have a guide for how much you're stretching or how much elastic you need to put on. But I'm just gonna show you what this is uh, and what you're supposed to do. So in this example, so understand that when you're pulling this elastic toward you to stretch it out, you're actually also pulling it away from the needle. So you may also have to be pulling from the back. So you are gonna have to use both your hands and, and for shooting this on camera it can be kind of difficult because I have so much in front of my face. So what I'm going to do, I've got this here lined up here. I've got a lot of fabric back here just to get this started. I'm going to lift this presser foot up and get the elastic just underneath and grab that elastic with the, um, just to get it started with the needle. I'm going to put my needle down. Now I am just going to like one stitch um, back stitch here. So I'm going to sew a couple stitches and stop and I'm going to try to keep this aligned here and stretch at the same time. Okay. So a couple stitches and then I'm going to hit the reverse lever. Okay. And I'm going to stitch forward again. And that's just to, um, keep the elastic there. Okay. So when we do the circle, uh, in for the cuff, I may or may not do that, but we have three, three stitches there going on a diagonal. Okay. So now I'm going to stretch this. I'm going to stretch. I'm going to almost stretch it all the way to the end. So, and I'm going to have to pull this because if I just pull this, it's, it's going to pull this out toward you. So I got to pull here, this from behind. 
So I'm pulling this and I'm pulling this because if I just hold this like this, it's not going to go very far. Okay. So, and you, and what will happen is it might break the thread because um, it's kind of going at very small intervals. So and the other thing that I'm looking, watching is that I'm making sure that the stitching is going and uh, is not getting uh, on either side of the elastic. So I got to center my elastic while I'm doing all this, while I'm watching um, the, making sure that the edge is staying on this side. So using all parts of my hands here. And I periodically stop to kind of reset myself here. Now there is a foot where you can put the elastic in, but it doesn't come with this machine. So line that up. I'm going to stretch this elastic. I'm using my pinky here to kind of align the fabric as it's going. And then when you stop, I'm going to kind of hold on to this. I suggest that before you let go of anything, put the needle down so that the elastic doesn't get away from you. And I'm going to do a little bit longer and then we will I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm stretching this and I'm keeping everything in alignment. I'm getting off here. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to stop and then I'm just going to reverse. Okay, I'm going to take this out now. Put everything up in the right position. Let's move the... Okay. So this is what the elastic looks like now. This is what it look, would look, on the in, look like on the inside. And this is what it looks like on the outside. Whoop. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not a bad stitch if you have a pretty colored thread and it matches or you have a contrast color. Um, it's even kind of a pretty... Um, little detail and we will see that once uh, I actually do the sleeve which is coming up next. Okay so I've got my um, practical pieces for the elastic. Now you just saw me do it just on a straight piece without really any measurements or anything so you know how things are supposed to work. So this piece is kind of meant to be kind of like a sleeve um, and what we're going to do is I have drawn a line here and that's where we're going to be applying the elastic and it's going to be kind of like a sleeve with a little uh, ruffle around the edge but with elastic. So this would be the inseam of the sleeve and this would be the other side. Now let me just explain. So I want this would be the wrist line and so this is where we're going to apply the elastic and so um, the rest of this would be like a, a, a cuff um, edge. So I've actually done a rolled finish here and then I've sewn up the seam and got it all ready here. So you would will notice that even though I've got this line going all the way around, I've also made marks. And the one directly across from the um, seam is the halfway point, and then each of these other marks are halfway between the halfway point. So now I have a much smaller piece of elastic because we're gonna stretch this in there and it will, once we get it all on, it will scrunch this up and it will make a cute little um, cuff for the wrist. So now I have uh, one, two, three, four, five marks and these two edge marks are going to go on this seam right here. So it's gonna go all the way around the sleeve and come back here and I'm not going to pin this on, pin it all the way. I'll go ahead and pin now, but it's going to be undone because if I have to keep this stretched while I'm um, sewing, it's going to be a lot of work. So what I'm going to do is I'll start here and then in the machine, I'm going to stretch this to the first mark and to the mark on the first mark on the elastic. And this elastic is probably a little bit too small, but um, I didn't want to cut another piece. So I'm fully stretching it out to that mark. And then once I get there, I'll turn the fabric and then we'll stretch it to the next mark and the next mark and the next mark. So I will just go ahead and pin this so you can see what it looks, will kind of look like. So I'm putting this mark here on the seam allowance. 
and we'll pin this in here and just kind of move the fabric over and I'm going to pin it. I suppose you could try to pin it all in the positions that you need it, um, but it, the fabric may be, may get a little unmanageable. Okay, there's that mark and then pushing this over. I probably should have cut the piece of elastic a little bit larger, but I wanted it to be really ruffly. All right, and I wanted to see how far I could stretch this elastic. Um, this is kind of like a lightweight elastic for like underwear. So it can't carry a lot of weight with it, meaning the fabric, and this fabric is fairly lightweight. It's kind of on the lightweight side of muslin. I'll get that pinned there. So it's going to elasticize all of this fabric um, for the wrist, okay? And I can get my wrist in there, okay? So, but I'm gonna go ahead and undo these pins. I just did that so you could see it. And I'm gonna leave this first one in there because that's where I'm going to start. Okay, so um, I'm ready to work with this elastic um, for the application as if it were a sleeve. Um, so there are a couple things I want to do first. So I'm going to push the sewing machine out so you can see me do this. Now I did this in the previous video um, for the blind hems that I removed this front part. And if you put your finger here and just kind of there's a little nook here, you can just pull it. Um, pull it that way, uh, it comes right off. So I give you a side view in that other uh, video, but I want to actually kind of pull the uh, tripod back and see if I can kind of give you a better view so you can see the fabric going around. So this part of the bed here, um, this is a cylinder now, kind of, it's kind of thick, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, this is the bottom of the sleeve, which I've already hemmed. I've got everything ready to go. I'm going to put it in this way and then stitch around. So I actually have to turn the elastic around, but I just need to take that off. And of course, remember, I have everything marked on the elastic and we're going to match up those marks to all the marks here on the sleeve. So I need to turn the machine on first and then I just want to pan up here to show you I am on stitch 13. It's the three steps step zigzag and uh, matching the notch up here so just so you know what I'm what we're doing and I know it's not close enough to uh, the foot so you can see the stitching but I think you can still get the idea maybe if I'm not gonna maybe I can bring the tripod up there and angle this a, a little bit for you and angle it down a little bit like that Maybe you can kind of see the stitching in here. Okay, so now I'm not going to pin this all the way around because it's going to be kind of challenging. Um, but now, so this would this side would be the end of the cuff or the cuff sleeve, um, and I've got to try to match. Um, basically, I'm going to start stitching. I've got my mark here. This is my beginning mark, and I'll line that up with the stitch on the seam line, and then I'm going to stretch this as I sew. So as you saw in, in the straight um, piece that I did, um, I've got to pull from the back to get this to go around. So um, it takes a little, you're going to use both hands and kind of watch what you're doing. So um, here I'm just going to line my mark up with the stitch line here and I'm going to put that in the machine and I'm going to Try to line that, it was make sure it's kind of um, in the center. You could either put it in the center or you could, depending on where, let me see if I can get this out of the way, line up your edge of the elastic that way. Maybe we'll do it that way, um, but it may not come off so straight that way, but I'll go ahead and do it that way so you can see the line as I go. So I'm lined up here with the stitch line. I'm gonna put this under here. Um, and then just to hold everything in place, elastic is kind of 
skewed a little bit everything in place I want to put the presser foot down and I am going to back stitch um, just on that seam line I'll go a couple of stitches and then back stitch and that's just to hold everything in place now once I get off of this seam that's when I'm gonna start stretching this all right I'm gonna put the uh, needle down because if I don't put the needle down and I pull this I may just pull everything out okay so I'm gonna hold on to this I'm gonna stretch this and I'm almost stretching the elastic all the way um, but now I'm gonna stretch this and if I just kind of touch down I can kind of hold on to the fabric with the elastic um, while I kind of pull this and I'm not pulling a lot from the back I'm just gently pulling making sure that I'm gonna get that uh, get a good stitch width okay so I'm gonna go And then also as you're going along get this needle down okay as you're going along you also want to make sure that your stitches are here in the center of the elastic and here I'm coming up you see where I'm matching here so I'm stretching it appropriately and I feel like I'm getting veered off here so just kind of reset yourself every every little bit Okay, now I'm at my mark, so I'm just gonna let that go. And then I'm gonna pull, get this pull again. Now I don't have a separate, I do a little bit of elastic in the Apparel Arts Academy um, videos, um, but I don't, I don't believe I do this kind of elastic attaching um, on there, but maybe um, after doing this I will do a more thorough elastic attachment okay so here we go again it likes to come out here because this is kind of not wanting to stay there because it's too much for this it's hitting here so I'm having a hard time keeping it in alignment but you want to try to keep things as in alignment as possible as long as I kind of keep that line where I'm at and I'm glad I decided to do it this way the match the edge of the elastic with the line if I put my finger on it but I also want to make sure you can kind of see what's going on so so I'm matching my marks up here you can see that they're both uh, matching there I'm just gonna hold my finger right here and pull that okay I'm gonna pull some of this now now as this is getting elasticized back here it's um, not wanting to roll this way it's wanting to kind of go back up so that's also another challenge okay so I'm gonna pull this and I'm just gonna I know my hand I'm trying not to get my hands in the way from your from seeing it pull it all the way and I'm gonna put my finger down there so I can kind of help steer it a little bit more Sure, I'm gonna make that mark. Okay, and I'm hitting that. I'm. This is probably too much stretch on this elastic. I probably should have not done it this much, but I didn't want to cut another piece of elastic. I don't know why, but I didn't. All right. And so we're kind of coming up to this part where we've got to match these and I'm going to stretch it. I know I have to stretch it almost all the way. So, um, okay. So now I've got this extra bit here. We're coming back to the original start point. So I'm going to trim this thread and then I'm also going to trim to the width of the, uh, seam allowance, trim that off because this is going to go over that and we're going to hit pretty close there to the edge okay I want to make want to make sure everything kind of lays flat and I don't think I'm going to make it to the seam allowance and that's fine I'm still stretching it a lot whoop what's that noise okay and I'm back to my original spot I'm just gonna back stitch 
needles back up in the, the top position, release the presser foot and pull this out. And I'm gonna trim this off. Let's move this machine back and we can kind of see what's going on here. So I probably could have done a better aligning that, um, but that's okay. So I'm just going to trim this excess off, but they're overlapped here within the seam allowance. I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. So let's turn this out to the right side, or the face side I've been saying. Okay. Now we could probably, this is about three inches, so we could have probably done two inches, but you know. Okay, so that would be our sleeve with the elastic on it, okay? And if I had my hand in there, okay, that's what it would look like. So that is a practical application of the elastic stitch number 13. And that is how you use the elastic stitch to attach elastic. I also call it the three-step zigzag stitch, and it is number 13, well, let me click that over there, um, number 13 on your stitch dial. Um, now, as I had mentioned before in the beginning of the video, um, this stitch is kind of a bit on the wide side, and so um, using 3 8 wide elastic is about the smallest width you will be able to use. Um, if you use one quarter inch wide, you may have stitches on the outside of your elastic. Um, unfortunately, you cannot change the width of the stitch or the length of the stitch. So just be aware of that when you're purchasing elastic for any garment details, you may want to use elastic for um, and using this particular stitch. So just as a review, I do have the uh, straight piece of fabric that we did, uh, we applied the elastic to, and I cut this piece of fabric down um, after the fact, so it wouldn't be so bulky in my um, notebook sleeve. So this is the straight piece. And then, of course, we did this pseudo sort of sleeve, um, puffy sleeve. And as you saw, I felt that after I got it done, we started working with it, that the width of this, the cuff part here was too wide. It was getting caught here um, uh, in the machine on the cylinder. So this is what it would look like on a round. Um, so I thought it came out pretty good. It's a nice cute little uh, design detail. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put these into uh, my uh, notebook sheet. So I have the cardstock and, I, and I'm not gonna tape it to the cardstock. I'm just gonna carefully fold them. So I've uh, written here down on the bottom edge, I have elastic stitch number 13, and then in parentheses, I put three-step zigzag um, because that's what I actually call it. Um, and then I label it with the machine model number, Brother LX3817, um, because I have a few other different models here in my studio. And I just wanna make sure that this is the stitch that goes with this machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my sleeve right now. Get this in here. All right. <laughs> and then just carefully tuck them in here. And then I'll be able to go back and review my work at a later date. All right. So, um, if you just kind of walked into this video in the middle of it, um, or you just turned it on, you're not sure what, what's going on, uh, I am doing an entire playlist on the Brother Sewing Machine model LX3817. There's an entire playlist with several videos. I walk you through all the areas of the machine and then I sample out each one of the 17 stitches on the stitch dial and show you how to use them. So if you want to learn to sew, um, this is a terrific beginner's machine all the way through actually intermediate sewing. Um, this is a great machine. I think you should uh, check it out. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you're interested in learning more about sewing, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and be well.